Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Come on, wake up! Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrowfield's gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Kid. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world, buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. I'm afraid you seem to be short of funds, Sonny. Just three gold coins is all I ask and your sister will love them. Remember, your father will give you money if he hears good reports about you. Obey the law, or I'll make your life in Young Tearaway, off to play with your friends? Honestly, where's that good-for-nothing... Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> with some woman, I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? Obey the law! or I'll make your life intolerable. <laughs> You'll respect the rules if you know what's good for you. Is your sister having a party for a birthday? Oh, Tim! Oh, oh, thank goodness! Listen, lad, could you do me a favour? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long.
My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go and break stuff. Are you just going to stand there like a lemon? But being good is so boring. Wouldn't you prefer to be smashing things? Fat lot of good you were. Now my stock is damaged. And to think I trusted you with it. If I find out it was you, well, you better hope I don't. Stupid little idiot. Get him off me! Please help! He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. to me and now you're hitting me too i don't know what i've done someone tell me what i've done me and emily just wanted to play with rosie i just want everyone to leave me alone please just take rosie if it means you'll leave me alone ah! ow, ow. hey i'm sorry i'll leave him alone just please don't hit me again Thank you, but please don't hit me like that. Thank you, but please don't hit me like that. Look, there's a little swine. I'm going after him. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that though. I'm still waiting for my present. Right, got you, you little ruffian. I've heard reports that you've been doing bad deeds. Destruction of a person's vendables, dereliction of sentry duty, despite having been asked nicely, violent conduct towards a person or persons without guard's permission. That sort of behavior is not acceptable. If you were older, you'd be apprehended and fined by the town guards. 
You need to decide if behaving like that is worth it, my young friend. I'll leave it at that for now. But think about what I've said. Is your mother away again? Well, at least you've got your father to look after you. Today, a juvenile delinquent. Tomorrow, Bargate Prison. Mark my words. Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman I don't... I run his house, if you find him... Stock of a... You never see any heroes around here, do you? Might as well play as much as you can. Back to school tomorrow. Hmm. I'm a man of my word, so here's the gold for your good deeds. But if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Look, try to keep out of trouble, please, for me. So, have you got enough money for a gift for Teresa? I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Just don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about this. Trade goods! Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his chip. If you find him, let me know, won't... You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Wait till I get my hands on that pig! Hmm. I'm a man of my word, so here's the gold for your good deeds. But if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Look, try to keep out of trouble, please, for me. So, have you got enough money for a gift for Teresa? Get your... Ooh, you're lucky I've still got these sweets. Quickly, give me three gold pieces now, and they're yours. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! <laughs> it's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. Go! 
one. Evil had come to Oakvale. We must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is May. And I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs, with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now. But you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> 